So what is the idea behind my piece that I created for Fam Fierce? Um, well, basically the issue is female genital mutilation, known as FGM. And uh, the shocking fact is that there are 65,000 girls at risk in the UK of this yearly. I chose Alice as she represents the archetypal yet stereotypical British girl at the age that young girls are most at risk of this procedure. By representing this young, blonde-haired, blue-eyed girl holding back a curtain with a sinister hidden message, I aim to draw attention to the fact that mainstream media coverage in general doesn't prioritise cases of atrocity and violence that are happening in the heart of our communities and even less so when we don't feel it has anything to do with our idea of Britishness. I'm an inclusive arts practitioner and what that means in the context of street art basically is that I choose rather than create images, I create an image to have a call to action or to create and ignite social change. This is one of the reasons I was really interested in getting involved in Fan Fierce 2015. The day was really fantastic. I mean, I was completely overwhelmed by the amount of people that came through. I think it was something like 10,000 people came through the, the Banksy Tunnel um, in Leak Street. And this is the first time I ever created something this size. Um, I seem to be doubling up each time on the artwork I'm, I'm creating. Sometimes it's really hard to balance being a mother and art, being an artist. It's quite a difficult juggling act because obviously sometimes you just want to get into your art, into your creation, and there's things that your kids actually need, so you have to stop. And I think that sort of interruption is part of the dichotomy of being a successful female artist or a successful female professional basically and these gender issues are something that I hold really very much at the core of my work and what I'm trying to do. I've always worked in art and design. Um, when I first started out in the, in the 90s, I was a footwear designer and then um, moved into consumer product for big entertainment companies and ended up actually being a senior account director um, on a huge account in the Middle East in one of the world's uh, largest advertising groups. Um, one of the reasons I decided to change direction from let's say the corporate for profit world to the not for profit world was to do with issues around uh, corporate social responsibility and I decided to use my skills to really make a difference. After I decided I, I didn't want to do the corporate work anymore I opened my house as an artist's open house and then I very quickly started a show called 13 Women and I started that in 2012 and I was already very interested in gender issues, gender equality issues even at that point. The show was really, really a huge success in the town and we had over 42,000 visitors that came through and saw the show. I decided I wanted to take a break from the for-profit world and start to look at art in its purest sense. And the reason I, I went towards art was I feel that art is one of the last true unregulated industries. And I think there's more scope to, to be flexible, to evolve, and to create something really new and exciting and innovative through the arts. Um, but I'm also really interested in arts, research, humanities, social sciences. So when I discovered my, my current MA that I'm studying, I was just absolutely overjoyed to discover that. And I'm studying now in Brighton, doing an inclusive arts practice course. And I graduate this year. I initially started my journey as an artist uh, creating canvases and works of art that I thought other people might want to buy and I think that in a way that's the way lots of artists have been working and do work in today's current climate but I found that really too uh, facile and too contrived and 
instead I started to explore with working at festivals, working with young people, uh, doing spray painting, working on bigger space, bigger wall and uh, working in a few festivals where each time that I created something I ended up getting quite a lot of attention and media attention because it's not often that you see you know somebody that's uh, 40 something and near, nearing the end of 40 something uh, a female um, spray painting so that tended to get quite a lot of coverage in the press and part of my thinking was well why not try and harness this positively Plan UK who is the charity we were representing actually featured some of my artwork in their blog because I feel that my piece was right on target with regard to their message and their campaign that they're currently running, which is called Because I'm a Girl. The initial concept and idea where I came up with uh, the, the idea of having the, the roses, print and the scissors was actually initially from a Plan UK advert. What I decided to do was to take this idea and turn it around a little bit on its head and to create a traditional vintage print idea which would be a textile design. This textile design features scissors potentially cutting roses and there's the whole play of painting the roses red uh, which is obviously in the, the Alice film. I'm sorry about the noise in the background, that's my cat eating crunches so I'll have to continue in a minute.